Next time you meet up with a group of people and you start shaking hands or doing fist bumps or hugs or whatever your embrace is, go ahead and keep count of how many hands you shake. Also, have everyone else in the group keep count of how many hands they shake. Share your numbers and add them all up. And you'll find, every time, the sum will come out to be an even number. What explains this? Graph theory, the mathematics of social networks, can help us make sense of this phenomenon. A graph is a collection of vertices, or points, that are connected by edges between those points. For us, we'll think of each point as being a person, and an edge as a connection or a handshake between two people. Now, in addition to having people shaking hands and edges between them, you might get some curious behavior. For instance, you might have a vertex that connects to itself with an edge. We call that a loop. In our handshake example, you might think of this as someone shaking his own hand. Or, you might have two vertices that are connected by not just one edge, but by multiple edges. You might think this is two people who are really excited to see each other. So rather than just shake hands once, they're shaking their hands two or three times. Now, if a graph doesn't have these complex features, loops, or multiple edges, we say the graph is simple. That is, a graph that only has the feature that an edge is between two distinct vertices, and given any two vertices, there will be at most one edge connecting them. Also, you might imagine that when a group of people meet up, there will be one cluster greeting with each other, and a separate cluster interacting. We would call such a graph disconnected, because there's no interactions from the one cluster of vertices to the other. There's no edges connecting them. We call it disconnected. By way of contrast, this graph on the bottom, from any vertex, there's some edge that connects it via a path, via a series of edges to any other vertex. So we call it a connected graph. Typically, we'll focus our study to simple connected graphs but sometimes we'll venture out and consider more complicated graphs that involve loops, multiple edges, or that may be disconnected. Let's go back to our question of counting handshakes. We need some way to record the number of handshakes taking place. This would be called the degree. The degree of a vertex, for us, remember, our vertices are our people, counts the number of edges that are adjacent or incident to the vertex. For instance, in this simple graph below, we see that this vertex is incident to one, two edges. So we see it as degree two. This vertex also has degree two, and degree two, and, well, this isn't very interesting, so maybe we can introduce one more edge here, to now make this degree three. Degree three and degree two. In our problem, we wanted to count the total number of handshakes. That is, we want to count the sum of the degrees of our vertices. How could we do that? Well, here in our example, we just need to count 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3. That's just 6 and 6. That gives you a total of 12. Notice counting the sum of the degrees is the same as counting the total number of pink points. It's equal to the total number of pink points. But maybe you notice there's another way to count the number of pink points. Instead of noticing a cluster of 2 and 2 and 3 and adding them up, we can observe each edge has on it 2 pink points. Therefore, the total number of pink points will just come out to equal 2 times the total number of edges. In this example, we have 1, 
two, three, four, five, six edges. So we expect that to be two times six or 12 ping points. Either way you count it by summing the numbers or by counting as two times the number of edges, you get the same value. In fact, since both are counted by the number of ping points, we can just say that the sum of the degrees will equal two times the number of edges. There we go. It's our first result from graph theory. This is called the handshaking lemma. It's acknowledging that if you want to find the total number of handshakes, you just look at the interactions occurring and multiply it by two, because at each end, there's someone shaking his or her hand. And there's an immediate corollary of this fact. Since the sum of the degrees is two times the number of edges, well, two times anything must be an even number. So the sum of our degrees must be even. As we continue the series, we'll see a number more surprising and somewhat deep facts about graphs. But here's our first result. So take a moment, celebrate it, and I'm looking forward to continuing to learn more about graph theory with you.